Well, welcome to our second assignment in AutoCAD, or our second lectures. We're going to talk about some of the editing um, modify features that you can do to objects you've already drawn. So we have move, copy, stretch, rotate, mirror, and scale. Just going from right to left. Using my pen, I'm going to zoom in on these objects and zoom in on these objects that we've drawn from our last assignment. So you can go ahead and open up that drawing file. To move an object, you're going to select Move, select the object, either hit Enter or right click, select a base point, and select a second point. These are both using your select button with your mouse. Let's try that again. Move, select object, Hit enter because you can use you can select many objects and move them at the same time. Click one time, select a second time, and you've relocated the object. Let's do that with a little bit more specificity by using our O snaps. That is down on the right right side of the bottom of your screen. You'll see a, a gray bar down at the bottom. The icon that you're looking for is a blue box with a smaller green box in the upper left hand corner. When your snaps are on, this gives you an opportunity to reference another object and to relocate objects based on that. So that might sound a little confusing, but once it becomes practice for you, I think that you will enjoy using it. So when the check mark is on, that means that AutoCAD will, will begin looking for those points in space. So we'd like to have checked endpoint, midpoint, center, geometric center, quadrant, intersection, perpendicular, and parallel. As time goes on, you can pick and choose the ones that you would like to use and the ones um, that are not so helpful. Again, you'll notice that it's on when the box is blue. So let's use move using our object snaps. So we select the move command, select the object, hit enter, and now you'll see that my yellow box is at my crosshairs. That means that AutoCAD has found the endpoint of that rectangle. So let's say I would like to move it from the endpoint of that rectangle. So I click on that location, and then I can scroll over and see what other options I have. So we have a geometric center, we have a midpoint, and an endpoint. So for now, we will just click on the endpoint and locate those two rectangles near one another. To copy an object, you want to select the copy um, command, select one or multiple objects. In this case, we'll select multiple. Hit enter. Select a place on the screen and then a second place on the screen. What will happen for you is you will continue to copy objects until you hit enter or the space bar, which will complete the command. So let's copy our circle, hit enter. AutoCAD automatically finds the center of your circle. And hit enter when that is complete. Stretch. Stretch allows you to add length to an already created geometric object. So let's say we'd like to use this one. We will hit enter, select a point on the screen, and stretch it out. So our stretch is moving in this direction, but in order to keep 
the line straight, select the um, perpendicular symbol here, which is also called ortho mode, and turn it on. That means you'll only be moving in right and um, up and down directions. Hit enter to complete that command. Rotate. Select rotate. And we'll select one object. Hit enter. We can start from any point that our snaps are identifying or an arbitrary point on the screen. I'll select the geometric center. And by pulling my mouse down, it's directing the rectangle to um, go in a different direction. So when you see it um, preview the location that you prefer, click enter. Let's try that again. Rotate object. We have a geometric center. This time, mid command, without hitting enter, go over to your ribbon bar and deselect the ortho mode. Now you can see that you have lots of different options for rotating that object. And I'm just moving my mouse around in a circle around the rectangle. So I can pick an arbitrary location, or I can type in degrees. So you can see it says 270 there. Let's say I want 45. Hit enter, and it will automatically move the rotated 45 degrees. We have mirror as our next command. That's going to create a mirror image of whatever we're drawing. So if you create half of an object, you can automatically get the other half just by selecting the mirror command. So let's try that. Mirror. And we will select these two objects and hit enter. Now you can mirror about a point in space. So that can be in reference to an object that's already drawn, such as the endpoint of this rectangle. Now without the ortho on, it's going to just allow me to mirror in any angle that I choose or using my object snaps. So you see that I hit that endpoint and it makes a mirror image in the exact opposite direction. You can choose to erase the original object or you can keep it. Most times you're going to want to keep your original object. So now we have two. Let's try that one more time. Mirror. And we'll select these two. And begin with an endpoint. And end with an endpoint. And now our object is growing. Finally, let's use the scale command. Scale allows us to change the size of an object, and we can use a reference size to make it a, a certain amount fractionally larger or smaller than um, the original. So let's say we would like to start with this rectangle. Again, we can use our snaps to locate a base point. So you'll need to select a base point on the screen to start from. So I'll use the center. Now, your scale factor can be created by using your mouse to select a point on the screen. Or you can type in a certain number that will either um, will create a fractional quantity or size of the object itself. So let's type in 2 and hit enter. And so now the object is twice the size that it was before. If you'd like to try scale again, select this object. 
select on the geometric center, and I'll type 1.5, which will make the object one and a half times the size of the other one. Okay, let's stop this one and we'll move on to the next lecture with the next six um, modify commands.